English learners and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. Hey, Erica, how are you today? Marco, I'm doing really well and I'm really looking forward to today's lesson. Well, so am I because here at English Pod, we're giving you real English. Everyday English. Exactly. English that you hear in movies or in、uh, TV shows. This is English people actually use. So, Erica, what is our topic for today? Well, today we're talking about computer viruses. Perfect. So, I think it's time for us to take a look at our preview. Vocabulary preview. Okay, today we've got two words to preview. The first word is virus. 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 So, if your computer has a computer virus, it means your computer is sick, right? Actually, a computer virus is a program that is designed to harm or to damage your computer. Oh, I see. Okay.、And、well, thank you for being so technical. <laughs> That's the technical explanation. Okay, let's take a look at our second word for our preview today, and that would be froze. 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 So if your computer froze, it means that your computer stopped working. Your applications or your program stopped working and you just can't do anything. Your computer's broken. Okay, great. So let's listen to our dialogue. It's going to be a little bit fast, but don't worry if you don't understand everything. At the end of this podcast, you'll understand everything. Perfect. Let's listen. The stupid computer froze again. That's the third time today. Hey, Samuel, can you come take a look at my PC? It's acting up again. It must have a virus or something. Just give me a second, I'll be right up. I ran a virus scan on your computer and it turns out that you have a lot of infected files. But I'm quite careful when I'm browsing the internet. I have no idea how I could have picked up a virus. Well, you have to make sure their antivirus software is updated regularly. Yours wasn't up to date. That's probably what was causing your problems. Okay, anything else? Yeah, try not to kick or hit the computer. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Well, I completely understand this guy. When my computer freezes, I kick it and punch it and do everything to it. Well, I hope you don't punch it too hard, Marco. <laughs> well, it's still working, so it's all right. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our language takeaway. Language takeaway. In today's language takeaway, we have two words. The first word for today is infected file. Infected file. Infected file. Infected file. And what is an infected file? An infected file is a file in your computer that has a virus in it. Ah, perfect. That's really clear. What is our second word for the language takeaway today? Our second word is not up to date. Not up to date. Not up to date. And what is it when something is not up to date? It means it doesn't have all the most recent information. Okay, perfect. Now let's listen to some examples. Example one I need to buy a new computer because mine isn't up to date. Example two. I can't find the street. Are you sure this map is up to date? Example three. Sarah has just finished the reports and all the information is up to date. Okay, that was pretty clear. You know, you can also use this phrase. Positively, you can say up to date. Okay, for example, we can say this is a new map. This is the most up to date map. Exactly. Or if I bought a new computer, I could say I just got a new computer. All my software is up to date. Okay, great. So now let's take a look at some phrases. And it's time for putting it all together. 
putting it together. Okay, so Samuel said a really great phrase. He said, I'll be right up. I'll be right up. I'll be right up. I'll be right up. Now, we can use this phrase in a lot of different situations, so let's listen to some examples. Example one Can you help me with my computer? I'll be right there. Example two Come downstairs. Dinner is ready. I'll be right down. Example three. Hurry up! I need to use the bathroom! I'll be right out. Okay, really great and clear examples, right? Yeah, you know that phrase, I'll be right out? I used to hear this all the time when I was young. Really? How come? Well, I have two sisters and we were always fighting for the bathroom. So someone was always saying, just a minute, I'll be right out. Ah,、uh-huh, yes, that's common. I had that too when I was young. Okay, now our second phrase is, it turns out that. It turns out that. It turns out that. It turns out that. This is a great phrase. You can use it in many different situations. Marco, can you give us an example? Sure. For example, I can say, Frank didn't come to work today, and it turns out that he was sick. Yep. Or I could say, Oh, I've been feeling really sick recently. Why? You know, it turns out that. I'm pregnant. Oh my God. Are you really pregnant? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, because. Okay, so it's time for us to listen to our dialogue again, but this time it'll be a little bit slower. All right. Oh, great. This stupid computer froze again. That's the third time today. Hey, Samuel, can you come take a look at my PC? It's acting up again. It must have a virus or something. Just give me a second. I'll be right up. I ran a virus scan on your computer, and it turns out that you have a lot of infected files. But I'm quite careful when I'm browsing the internet. I have no idea how I could have picked up a virus. Well, you have to make sure that your antivirus software is updated regularly. Yours wasn't up to date. That's probably what was causing your problems. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, try not to kick or hit the computer. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, that was a lot more clear this time. Definitely, yeah, I understood a lot more. Okay, so now it's time to look at Fluency Builder. Erica, why don't you explain what Fluency Builder is? In Fluency Builder, we give you some great, useful phrases to help you express your ideas clearly. Okay, great, so let's look at Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. Okay, so in this dialogue, we know his computer wasn't working. Right. So many students would probably say his computer was acting strangely. His computer isn't working properly. Exactly. And that's perfect and that's fine. Yeah, but there's a, a really great way to say it that we heard in the dialogue It's acting up again. It's acting up again. I love this phrase, it's acting up. Yeah, it, it just, sounds really natural. It sounds really natural. Okay, we're ready to listen to our dialogue a third time, but this time it'll be at the normal speed. Try and see if you can hear these keywords. Oh, great. The stupid computer froze again. It's the third time today. Hey Samuel, can you come take a look at my PC? It's acting up again. It must have a virus or something. Just give me a second, I'll be right up. I ran a virus scan on your computer, and it turns out that you have a lot of infected files. 
but I'm quite careful when I'm browsing the internet. I have no idea how I could have picked up a virus. Well, you have to make sure their antivirus software is updated regularly. Yours wasn't up to date. That's probably what was causing your problems. Okay, anything else? Yeah, try not to kick or hit the computer. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So, Marco, I really think that my computer actually has a virus now. Really? How come? Because I have been turning on my computer, and then suddenly it turns off by itself. It Mm. shuts down by itself. Yeah, that sounds like a virus. But I ran a virus scan, and there was no problem. Mm, Well, maybe your antivirus software isn't up to date. Yeah, I guess I'd better call Samuel. Yeah, Yeah, you can call Samuel to fix it. Yeah. All right, folks, we're out of time now, but be sure to go to our website at EnglishPod.com where you can leave all your questions and comments. So stay tuned for our next great lesson. And until next time, goodbye. The English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. To stop working properly. Freeze. C. Revise. Take a look. Not working properly. Act up. Go upstairs soon. Be right up. Get. Acquire. Pick up. Look. Search. Browse. Having all the most recent information. Up to date. Computer screen. Monitor. Person in a company who fixes computers. Computer tech. Damaged or broken computer file that can't be opened. Corrupt file. Look for information on the internet. Surf the net. Computer program that allows you to go on the internet. Web browser. Let's try that faster. C. Revise. Take a look. Computer screen. Monitor. Person in a company who fixes computers. Computer tech. Not working properly. Act up. Having all the most recent information. Up to date. Go upstairs soon. Be right up. Look. Search. Browse. Get. Acquire. Pick up. To stop working properly. Freeze. Damaged or broken computer file that can't be opened. Corrupt file. Look for information on the internet. Surf the net. Computer program that allows you to go on the internet. Web browser. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Computer viruses cause a lot of problems. If you don't have virus protection software, you will get a computer virus. How can I protect my computer from getting a virus? Be right up.
I'll be right down to help you with your computer. Be right up. I'm downstairs talking to Kim, but I'll be right up to see you. Be right up. I'll be right over when I'm finished writing this email. Freeze. If your computer freezes, you'll have to shut it down. Freeze. Something is wrong with my mobile phone. It keeps freezing. Freeze. The files are not ready yet because my computer froze last night. Act up. Your computer is fixed now. It shouldn't act up anymore. Act up. This TV is always acting up. I need to buy a new one. Act up. When the weather is cold, my car acts up. Take a look. I need you to take a look at these reports after they've been edited. Take a look. Take a look at this bill. It's so expensive. Take a look. Come take a look at these pictures. You looked so young. Browse. I didn't get anything done at work. I was browsing the internet all day. Browse. Were you browsing the internet today? Browse. It's important to keep your credit card number safe when browsing the internet. Up to date. Is my virus protection software up to date? Up to date. You should look in this file here. It has the most up to date sales numbers. Up to date. The information I have isn't up to date.